I'm Edward from Stone Tactical and today we're going to take a look at the Combat UK Saxon 65 litre hold all. The Combat UK 65 litre hold all is made from a hard wearing, weather resistant material, has 10 separate compartments for storing all the gear you need for a day of airsoft or a day on the range, has a hook and loop panel on the front for attaching patches, has molly straps on the sides for attaching extra pouches, as well as four compression straps for keeping the bag all tight and tidy. It also has two carry handles with a hook and loop unifier and an adjustable shoulder strap. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a chat about the external features and then we're going to take it away, fill it up with stuff, bring you guys in closer and have a really good look at what this can hold. Now, like the rest of Saxon Holders, it is built from a water resistant material and it is very hard wearing, nice and resistant. It comes with the adjustable carry strap, a nice padded carry handle with a hook and loop unifier. On the top we have a utility pouch keeping items in. On the front we have a pouch here as you can see with external buckle closed pouches. We also have a larger pouch here for holding like a water bottle. On either end we have a big utility pouch with a smaller one attached along with two lines of molly and the compression straps which means that you can keep this bag and the pouches nice and secure and hopefully stop them from flopping around lots when they have weight in. So we're going to go take this away fill it up and then we'll be back. So we've taken it away, we've filled it up and let's have a nice close look at what it's got in it. So let's move back a bit, we'll start at the front. So this pouch here, we have my blank firing grenade, my nice Dynetex original, ready for use, quick access. We then have on the front here, once again, we've got our torch, we've got our multi-tool in case it's needed. We've also got our valve key in here for our gas magazines. Now there is still a bit of space in this pouch so you could apply little extra tools and that, you know, stuff you might need handy. Little set of multiple Allen keys in there, really helpful. In the main pouch here, we have the first aid kit again, ready for use if needed. Also got our silicon spray and our anti-fog. Now in this pouch I have my water bottle ready for quick access that I need during the day to keep myself hydrated, always helpful. In this end, once we've released the compression straps, we've got our external pouch that I have that I have popped my smoke grenades in again. So these are here ready for immediate access. Really nice and easy to get to. And then once again on this end, I have used this for consumables again. Now, this being a bit of a larger bag, see it from that angle maybe a bit better, I can actually stand the bottle upright. I've still got all of my BBs in here. I also have a large quantity of Mark 5s, which is always useful, and I have my blank firing rounds for my blank grenade. So that has significantly increased in size, which means I can put more consumables in there. Now then in this end, on the outside pouch, I have stored my toolkit. So this has got some of my tools ready for the day in case I need to repair anything, just in case I have an accident with the gun. And then once again, like in all the other Saxons, I have put this for such items like my snood, my gloves, I've got my face mask and my eye pro in here, I've got my lipo batteries and I've got my sling all ready for immediate access. So that's those bits. So let us move on to the main compartment. So first of all we'll look at the top pouch. Now instead of having the first aid kit in here I've now moved it so it's got my SD cards or my wallet. I've got my car keys up here and I've got my mobile phone all easily accessible. Now this is a much larger compartment obviously so we've got quite a bit more gear in here. So to start off with I've got my top ready to put on. Traveling my t-shirt then I can put my top on. That way if you don't like the idea of walking around in full camouflage all day you know, get odd looks off people like, what's he up to? You know, you can have a nice civilian top on and then you've got this in your bag ready to go. I've then got my helmet. I have my holster and I've got my pistol in here at the minute because after all, with the zips, I can quite happily put these together and then I can put a padlock through the toggles just to keep them together. So it is nice and secure, kept it covered up of course. Then I have my plate carrier ready for putting on and going to war with. Got my lovely fleece to keep me warm. Have my battle belt just in case I fancy running a bit more of a lightweight rig. And then finally at the very bottom we have our lightweight weatherproof 
jacket slash coat to keep us nice and dry. Now, even with all those bits in there, there's still space, so you know, you can put your lunch in there, you can put some other gear in there, lots of options. Hopefully, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.